Odessa's day of tragedy began with protest. Rival groups of demonstrators converged on the city centre. These pro-Ukrainians hurling missiles at the police and beyond them a pro-Russian group. From early there were injuries and death. Four people apparently killed by gunfire from the pro-Russian side. Then disaster. The pro-Russians retreated to this building. Dozens were killed when it was set on fire. Their pro-Ukrainian enemies are being blamed. It came on a day when the state tried to reimpose its will here in the rebellious east. 400 miles from Odessa in Slovyansk, the militants waiting and well prepared for a government attack. Here, petrol bombs being prepared and a promise of fire down the road any soldiers might come. I don't want a dictatorship to control my country, this gunman said. And this was their answer to the government offensive. Missiles that downed helicopters. These instruments of state power brought crashing to the ground. Two pilots killed. Here a wounded crew member is helped by the rebels who captured him. It was an image that seemed to define a day in which the government yet again struggled in the face of determined opposition. But it was on this bridge that we found the army being confronted by its own citizens. Helicopters deploy troops onto this strategic crossing six miles from Slavyansk. But the people refused to let them cross. <laughs> Fascists, she cried. Locals said this elderly man was injured by an advancing vehicle. But as the stalemate hardened on the bridge, we found a mood of defiance. I am prepared to take the and uh, to take the gun. Da, da. If if need for my land. Don't understand me. The soldiers were nervous, far from Kiev and the government that's giving them orders. You, I mean, you don't seem to control very much here. What's happening? Pointing to the protesters, he told us, there for Putin. The atmosphere here on the bridge remains very tense. There isn't an obvious appetite for more confrontation on the part of the troops, but there's a great deal of anger amongst the pro-Russian demonstrators. Neither side here knows where this military escalation is leading. Fergal Keane, BBC News, outside Slovyansk.